These are the Valve Index controllers, formerly known as Knuckles controllers. Now you can pre-order them starting from 1st of May and you will get them around June. Now in this video, I'm going to let you know if it's worth it to wait for them and how they actually compare against the Rift S touch controllers. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So these are the Valve Index controllers, formerly known as Knuckles controllers, now renamed Valve Index controllers. And these are the controllers that you will be able to order together with your Valve Index starting on 1st of May. Now, Lots of you might be wondering what's the difference as compared to the Rift S touch controllers. And in general, what is the difference between the Rift S and the Valve Index? Now in this video, we're going to talk about these differences. So let's start with the Valve Index controllers. We knew them as Knuckles for a long time and finally, finally the general public will be able to order them starting on 1st of May. Now, is it worth it? to order them and I can just tell you, yes, these controllers are amazing. So what is the big difference as compared to the Rift S touch controllers, for example? Now, first of all, this here, you can hold them like this, but you don't have to grab them all the time. You can also do something like this and the controller is still connected to your hands, which is really useful. For example, if you want to throw something, throw a grenade or something, you will not throw your whole controller when you do so. Also, your whole, all of your fingers are tracked. So the controller knows if you do this or if you do this or whatever you do with your hands, they will be tracked. Now, the Rift S controllers also have finger tracking. However, the difference here is you also have pressure sensitivity built in so you can like grab something and squeeze something and the games that are being developed for this controller, they will be able to show you this in virtual reality. I don't know, you can squeeze some virtual object and it will show in virtual reality. So this is another great feature of the Valve Index controllers. Then we have one trigger here and let me also show you here the face pad. So we have a thumbstick, very similar to what we have with the Rift S touch controllers. And this is also clickable. And here, a big difference, we have a touchpad here. So we have a touchpad and a thumbstick. So that is really useful. Then we have two buttons here, B and A, and one menu button. Yeah, and here, of course, you can, you can change this part here, you can make it fit to your hand. This is an amazing controller, um, an amazing controller that the VR world has been waiting on for quite a long while. Now, another big difference between the Rift S touch controller, which I personally also like, is the tracking, the way that these controllers are actually tracked. So for, for the for, for these controllers, for the Valve Index controllers, the tracking works with the Lighthouse system. So what you will do, you will have to set up two base stations, two lighthouses, and, and these lighthouses send out lasers. And according to these lasers, the controllers know where they are in space. And this works perfectly. There is absolutely no problem to track them even if you put them behind your head even if you put them behind your back i mean why should you but probably there is some game that requires that from you and very important for all the people who like first person shooters you will be able to put them very very close to your headset if you if you aim through the sides for example and that is the big advantage of this kind of tracking with the Valve Lighthouse system. For the Rift S, the tracking works differently. For the Rift S, you have, you have cameras on, on, your, um, on the headset itself, and these cameras track 
the, the Rift S controllers. Now this tracking also works really well. And when I tried the Rift S myself, I was really amazed by how well the tracking works. However, the tracking will not work great well when the controllers, when the Rift S controllers are out of sight of the um, of the camera. So if you, for example, um, yeah, put your controllers behind your backs, for example, the tracking will be lost. Also, if you get very, very close to your headset with the controllers, again, the example is if you aim down the sides in a first person shooter, the tracking also will have problems. And well, that is the problem of the of the this inside out tracking from the from the Rift S. And well here with the Valve Index controllers, you simply don't have these problems no matter how close you get to the headset and no matter how you try to hide the controllers, they will always be tracked. So very clearly the winner of this comparison with the Rift S controllers are the Valve Index controllers. Again, you have more functions. Yeah, you, you can uh, have better tracking. And um, I personally really love it that they are connected to your hands like this and that you can throw grenades without throwing away the controllers. So this is this is the big difference between, between the controllers, between the Rift S controllers, which are also great. However, these controllers are simply better. So what does it mean now for you, the person who absolutely was sure to get the Rift S on a launch date? Should you now go and buy the Valve Index instead? Well, we cannot tell because we simply don't know yet enough about the Valve Index itself. But in my opinion, you should at least wait for the 1st of May because on 1st of May, we will get all the information about the Valve Index. The price, of course, very important and also all of the technical specs. So then we can make a much more fair comparison. However, I could do this comparison between the Valve Index controllers here and the Rift S controllers because, well, I do have the Valve Index controllers here already and I did try the Rift S controllers for fairly a good amount of time when I was at GDC. So we simply have to wait until 1st of May to find out about the Valve Index, but then it's going to be a very, very exciting time for all of us VR enthusiasts. So that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And now it's time for you. Please do let me know in the comment section what do you think about the Valve Index controllers and um, about the decision between Valve Index and Rift S. Did you already make up your mind, even though we don't have all the details yet? Or are you going to wait until 1st May? Please do let me know in the comment section below. But that's it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.